Hello, my name is Mike Webb and I'm going to guide you through the University of Worcester's sociology degree. And before we begin, worth reminding ourselves just what a wide range of people have studied sociology in the past. Uh, number one there is Harriet Martineau, uh, the first British sociologist alongside her Queen Victoria, number two, who is a fan of Harriet's uh, writing. Uh, three, Martin Luther King, sociology degree. Four, Michelle Obama, also a sociology degree. Five, that's Preet Gill, one of many uh, MPs in the House of Commons who uh, first degree was in sociology. Six, James Blunt. Uh, seven, the Oscar-winning film director, Bong Joon-ho. Eight, uh, Jody Taylor, one of the stars of the England women's football team. And nine, Amanda Gorman, poet who we'll meet later on in these slides. What's sociology about at Worcester? We think it's about new thinking for a rapidly changing world, seeing things from different angles, discussing new ideas, thinking beyond the obvious. Now, your previous study of sociology isn't required to do the course, but if you have done, then we'll show you many new ideas. And UK students are welcome, but so are international students as well. We particularly recommend uh, single honours sociology as the big box on the screen shows it covers it all. Look at all those topics, crime, media, education, they're all in single honours sociology. And two um, of our students as they left the course, one going into teaching and one into police work, uh, said it's just the best ever preparation for teaching and for police work. Uh, but if you're quite sure that you don't want to spend the whole of your degree doing uh, those range of topics in sociology and want to uh, focus in a more specialist way on one of the other subjects, you can combine uh, uh, sociology as a joint honours with any of those five subjects at the bottom, or as the little box on the right says, um, with uh, sociology with politics single honours. And after year one, there's quite a bit of flexibility. So if you are doing single honours sociology and you later want to add one of those other subjects, uh, you can do that at Worcester. Uh, we have a range of sociology staff who all do research, but and they are also very focused on students. Number one is Simon, two, Leslie, three, Tyra, four, Luke, five, Jenny, and six, well, that's me, Mike, and uh, not appearing on the screen now, uh, some others such as Elspeth. You will certainly get on with other students because they're typically a very friendly bunch of students. Uh, top writers, uh, they're meeting Leslie on the very first day of the course. And then the third years and the left uh, celebrating because they just uh, done the very last session on the whole course and a few months later uh, down at the bottom we got a picture of them graduating as they came out of uh, Worcester Cathedral. Why choose sociology at Worcester? We've got five reasons there. One is that it's a small friendly course so you get staff with a personal interest in you uh, to guide you. Two is that the assessment is entirely by coursework, interesting coursework like projects and posters uh, but there are no exams. And unlike some other specialist sociology courses in other universities, we don't have high level mathematical statistics as part of the uh, course or part of the assignments. Three, we hope our lectures are interesting, but really the key thing about the course is the discussion. Uh, and those usually are very lively and very involving. Four, we try and have the most up-to-date statistics possible. And five, up-to-date modules as well. We often introduce new topics before other courses at other universities. The modules work very well because you, if you're full-time you do four of them at a time but each one of them gives you something to prepare to read or to find out to report back on in the class the following week. But B you can do that on your own if you want to but most people find it more pleasant to do it with another student and there are always staff that you can approach for help while you're doing that preparation work. There is a lot of support from staff at Worcester. Um, in number one there the sociology staff can do tutorials or chats. You will have a personal tutor, you will have the tutors on the modules. 
but two, you'll get help from the university as well. The librarians are particularly good, professional dyslexia support, etc. Three, we think Worcester is a relatively low stress place, uh, plentiful accommodation, paid and voluntary work, and it's a small city, and many students get to know and love it. We have a special library, the Hive, which is the only one in Europe that serves both the university and the local community. And there's a picture at the bottom there of the big golden building, which all the school children, the local school children call the Golden Library. And it's very important for sociology that we meet the rest of the community in there as well as uh, ourselves. It's a fairly successful course, a high degree of student satisfaction as measured by the a national survey and the degree results are good. We usually get several first class degrees every uh, year and most of the rest two ones. And that was Jess who graduated from Single Honor Sociology um, and put a message on her Twitter account and we asked if we could put it on the screen and here it is. Best decision of my life so far was choosing to study sociology at the University of Worcester. Thank you to the whole department for being so inspiring and caring and preparing me for the next challenge. And Jess's next challenge was uh, to train as a teacher of religious education, which she successfully did, and that is now what she's doing. We asked our students if they could uh, work out for us, list for us the practical skills they'd learned from sociology. And this is what they came up with. I don't know if you've realised what's happening on the left there, but they've been very clever. We didn't ask them to do this, but the initial letters spell the word sociologist. But just look at the wide range of things that you will learn to do uh, on the course so that when you move out into life after university, into your career, you have all those abilities to make use of. We've got two slides here listing some of the uh, major career routes that come out of sociology degrees. Criminal justice, police is often top, and there's a picture of Suzette Dam Davenport, who graduated from Worcester Sociology a long time ago, and eventually became Chief Constable of Gloucestershire. Or next one down, you could be a voluntary sector organiser. Some very interesting work in housing, housing associations, politics, business, and the second slide there. In the social care sector, for instance, social work, uh, local councils have lots of project work that graduates uh, are needed for. Um, going into education, we always every year get some people who uh, become teachers, about half become primary school teachers, about half secondary school teachers. And there's some other areas that people go into, such as um, postgraduate study and research, either in Britain or indeed in other countries. If you want to know more about sociology careers, you could Google um, those two uh, phrases, prospects sociology, or Google BSA sociologist careers. And both of those are very good websites that list uh, a whole variety of possibilities once you've graduated in sociology. The picture of Alice there, who after she graduated from sociology, uh, became the lead youth worker and manager of the uh, community centre locally. Uh, the entry requirements we keep quite low um, the reason for that is some people come in with those low points, but actually are very successful on the degree. Uh, but actually the majority of people on the course have many more points than that. And somehow the course is able to do both those things, to stimulate the most able students, but bring on people who've previously underachieved. A couple of slides now listing uh, the modules in the course. And there's too much information going to appear for you to take in. So what you could do is rerun the video afterwards and pause it to get some of this information. But there in year one, everybody does these two uh, interesting modules. Um, but the single honours students get some other options as well. Um, those modules like uh, visual sociology and, and so on. Um, and then in the years two and three, again, at the top of the screen there, there are a couple of modules that either everybody or most people do. And then there are option modules from which to choose, uh, such as those listed on, on the left, environment, media representation of crime, um, emotions, etc. Et and there's a sociology work placement module you could do if you wanted to as well. 
on the right there there's a little notice that said if you wanted to you could actually spend one of the semesters in year two in another country um, even in the European country where uh, quite a few of the courses are taught in English you may find there's something you're interested in and it's not listed on as the title of one of the um, modules but it doesn't mean you can't do an assignment about it and somewhere in some of the modules there will be opportunities to uh, study the things that you're interested in and there's just a, a, um, a sample really of the kind of topics that people cover in modules on the degree. In the third year you get to specialise in something of great interest to you in your sociology dissertation with a tutor to help you you will actually do some original research and write that up um, and there's just a sample of some of the things that uh, sociology students have studied in their dissertation in recent years while you're doing the course you'll hopefully do some reading of very interesting accessible books and you could choose whether to look at those online or or, or hard copies and yes you're right down at the bottom right there that is my cat who got interested in the books when I was photographing them on the floor so I decided to put her in the slide and you will also get ideas from visits there's a group of students sociology students visiting Worcester Crown Court and then the picture at the bottom is them them afterwards meeting a victim support worker to discuss the court system and the victim support worker was actually one of our University of Worcester sociology graduates or you will also get an opportunity to hear from visiting speakers or attend events online and there for example is Judith Oakley um, who wrote a very interesting book called Traveller Gypsies uh, who came to give us a talk at Worcester recently you'll share ideas with each other so socialising is actually quite important uh, for the degree you also get the opportunity to uh, join in voluntary work so for example top right there that's the Mags Day Centre uh, for uh, homeless people um, when a number of our students often volunteer there down at the bottom that's one of our sociology students uh, collecting donations for the Worcester Food Bank lots of other activities as well uh, top left those two are campaigning for the student union elections and yes you're absolutely right one of them is dressed as Superman don't ask and down at the bottom that's a screenshot from the television because two of our students went down to join the protest trying to get uh, governments of the world to cancel the debt of the poorer countries and uh, one of the students there is waving to the camera having having spotted it and they um, found that very worthwhile you can also join in other activities sporting activities and all kinds of clubs and societies Worcester area is also very interesting sociologically so there's some pictures to illustrate that number one is one of the past uh, uh, opulent estates uh, rich people own but there are actually some uh, current ones as well that's a, a, a sign of affluence amid a society with great poverty as in picture number two which is migrant workers in the fields picking vegetables and fruit which is common around Worcester three there's an um, active uh, protest environment in Worcester um, and there's an image of one, one of the uh, campaign uh, sites for the Worcester Cathedral like many of the churches and religious organisations is the focus of lots of activities five uh, you can see shops springing up reflecting new trends for example that one selling vegan products six um, historical sites like the stocks in Worcester which you'll be glad to know are not used now uh, seven love locks on one of the pedestrian bridges across the river seven eight one of the uh, many uh, minority ethnic shops around Worcester showing how diverse the population is and nine one of the local buses uh, advertising a historical uh, link uh, between Worcester and Droitwich and as we begin to conclude we thought we'd have a look at the words of Amanda Gorman who's a sociology graduate who was chosen to write a poem and read it at the inauguration of the current US president and she ended with these words we will raise this wounded world into a wondrous one for there is always a light if only we're brave enough to see it if only we're brave enough to be it sociologically inspired view of the world 
and we asked some of our students to help us come up with some words that sum up what sociology is here at Worcester and the next slide has some of those words on it. So sociology is something you study, but it's more than that because you share those insights with other people and in fact you live its precepts. And how do you keep up to date when the world is changing so fast? One of the things we recommend is that you open a, a Twitter account and every day you have a look to see what new developments have been posted in tweets that you ought to know about. And we think that probably the best, core, best source to look at is our own Worcester Sociology Twitter account. So if you just Google Worcester Sociology Twitter, you'll be able to sign up to Twitter and follow it and tell your friends and teachers too. And then every day you will find posts such as those two on the screen now, uh, which each of which has links to things you can read to find out a bit more about what's been posted. And the final slide, just to say to you, um, please do get in touch if you want to know about our, any more about our course. Um, that's the email address top right to use. Um, however, use the email bottom left if you want to know about applying to the university or finance or accommodation. We hope very much that you will come to study sociology at the University of Worcester. But wherever you decide to do your degree, we hope you have a wonderful time doing it. Thank you very much indeed.